Okay, hey everybody, this is going to be another episode of, you guessed it, Redneck Gourmet. Hey, hey everybody, it's time once again for, you guess the Redneck Gourmet. And today I'm going to show you how to make Redneck Gourmet Jambalaya. Is this authentic Cajun Creole Jambalaya? Absolutely not. Is this how I do it Redneck Gourmet style? Absolutely. So, here we go. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is get you a 28, 26 or 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Pour that all up in there, you know. Then a one cup of chicken broth. Put that up in there, yeah. Now we're gonna go with our seasonings, or spices if you will. We're gonna go with mint one table or with this, our seasoning mixture, which is right there. It is two tablespoons minced garlic, one tablespoon cayenne, one, two tablespoons Cajun seasoning, one tablespoon black pepper, one tablespoon thyme, one tablespoon oregano. You put that up in there as like so. It's at the point I am now of edit when I'm editing this video that I realized I made a massive screw up there. It would all those tablespoons should have been teaspoons because that would have been a lot of so, of uh well would have been a lot of seasonings. Oh, and by the way, just in case you missed it, here are the actual well the actual spice mixture. Try to get as much of it off the plate as you can. If you're putting it on a plate, if not, they just take off the spoon. Anyway. Uh, then, four stalks of celery chopped up. Well, chopped into like bite sized pieces. One onion chopped into, if you said bite sized pieces, Again, you would be correct. Then, three bell peppers chopped into bite sized pieces. I'm using a red, yellow, and orange bell pepper. Then, Three pounds, three or four pounds of chicken, no, two pounds of chicken breasts, which that's about roughly three chicken breasts, three or four, whatever you got. And then five sausage, uh, Cajun sausage links. If you said that's a lot of chick, that's, that's a lot of sausage, you would be right. But. Then what you're gonna do is stir it all up. Hang on just a second while I get a spoon to stir it all up because it does need to be stirred quite well to integrate the flavors while they're cooking. Some of that pepper's starting to get in my nose a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. 
With that, you put your crock pot on high for four hours. Then we're going to come back, add the rice, and cook it for another 30 minutes. But we'll see you in four hours. Okay, this is four hours later. We're unopening the crock pot. And we're gonna put in roughly three cups of rice here. You know what, let me just, yeah, there you go. Roughly three cups of rice, yeah. You know what, I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Stir it up. And then let this cook for another 30 minutes. Then that will be ready to enjoy. Put it on it. See you in about 30 minutes. Okay, another little break in here. All right. Uh, two things. Honestly, if your crock pot can hold it, I would suggest going with six cups of cooked rice, and not uh, three cups. And unless you like kind of a superior jambalaya, then A, hey, more power to you. But, personally, I like a more of a ri more rice in my jambalaya than, yeah, but yeah. And, and like I said, it's cooked, six cup, three cups, or six cups, whichever you decide, of cooked rice. I don't think uh, regular uncooked rice from the bag would cook and soften in 30 minutes I don't know but yeah. but like like I said six cup three or six cups of cooked rice so let's get back to the video alright so 30 minutes later it's time to bowl it should look like this which I, pro I probably would have Add a little bit more rice, but you know what? That's uh, that's all uh, right. It should look like that, and I would suggest two pieces of, say, a garlic bread. And there you go. And it'll be about to be time for the taste test. Yes. Hang on. Okay, it's time for the taste. This came out the crock pot too. It is hot. Tastes Cajun. Mm -hmm. I hope the garlic ain't too hot, ain't too strong on that bread though. If it is, I appreciate it. Hey, hey, if it is, criticize great value because I didn't do that. I just used the great value garlic bread, so it is what it is. 
Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section down below. Email me at LanceMonsterTV at gmail.com. Hit me on Facebook. And don't forget, every Wednesday night, I go live on LanceMonsterTV and your friends. And, well, that's the end of the season for this year. See you in Redneck Gourmet 2019. And, well, we'll have something else next week. But, yeah. Bye.